In this lecture of our end-to-end -end test automation with Playwright course, we are going to talk about ARIA snapshots. So ARIA snapshot is a new feature introduced in Playwright version 1.49, which has got quite a lot of different ways to assert our page like a snapshot, but with the help of the ARIA locators. So if you've not heard about ARIA locators, ARIA stands for Accessible Rich Internet Applications, which is a set of attributes that can be added to an HTML markup to communicate with the users of assistive technologies. So that is where the ARIA actually came in picture. And this ARIA we have already seen in our other lectures of this course, where we can use the ARIA locators in Playwright, which can locate the element in the user interface. And now the Playwright team has extended it even further with the ARIA snapshots. And I'll tell you what this ARIA snapshots can do for you. So essentially in Playwright, the ARIA snapshot provides a YAML representations of the accessibility tree of a page. And these snapshots can be stored and compared later to verify if the page structure remains consistent or meets defined expectation. And I have just shamelessly grabbed this whole text right from the Playwright documentation because it is so good, because it tells you exactly what ARIA snapshot really does. And just to give you a bit of a high level of what this ARIA snapshot is gonna do for us is this. If you go to the accessibility of your Chrome dev tool, you can see that for any selected element or maybe an area of a page, you can see that this is the ARIA tree is going to look like or the accessibility tree is going to look like and this is exactly what is going to be rendered in the two match aria snapshot method of the playwrights aria snapshotting you can see that it is going to tell you like what exactly the locator is going to be and once again you can see that here the team has really removed what types of the element they are like not any tags are being used. So if it is going to be a heading, you see that it is exactly like how it is specified here, like what is in the accessibility tree. So in the accessibility tree, if it says heading about, then over here in the two match area snapshot, it says heading about, and then there is a level which says heading of two there. So level is equal to two is heading two. And similarly, it also tells you that there are two paragraphs, like one and two here. And what is the text inside those paragraphs? So that's everything has been rendered in here and similarly if there is a link inside the paragraph then it's going to say link which is a hyperlink really and then it says learn more and the text over there so that is all coming up because i actually generated this entire two match aria snapshot from the visual studios playwrights record feature and i will show you how we can do that and most importantly if you see this particular two match array snapshots over here so many things are going on for instance, you can see that we can identify the element with the text over here, like heading, and then there is an about. So it's very plain text. And we can also see there is a level is equal to two. You can change the level if you want to like level is equal to three and four, if you have that particular heading within this particular locator in the accessibility tree. And similarly, you can also use what is called as the regular expression to identify if the particular element exists in this particular fashion. Again, I'm telling you all these things you can generate using Playwright's own record and playback feature because writing this could be very, very cumbersome and that's what I really feel. Well, as that said, you may ask Karthik, what happens if this locator is gonna change or what if this particular locator's snapshot is gonna change? How do we really update that? Well, we can update this very, very easily by running this command, npx playwright test and any test that you are gonna run and then hyphen hyphen update snapshots. So while you do that, it is going to generate a rebaselines.patch file under the test results folder. And then you can then apply the git apply command to update the snapshot which is there within your tests. So this is how you can do that, pretty much like the snapshot testing that you do in other testing tool. That's what we are going to be doing in this particular video and I will show you how this can be achieved. So you can see that this is the release note of the Playwright team, which uh, they have released like version 1.49. And this is the feature which I'm talking about, the two match area snapshot. And let's see how we can actually work on this particular feature. So when I go over here within my tests, you can see that I don't really have anything like two match area snapshot in my test so far. And this test is quite interesting because this test runs using uh, an annotations and there are also quite a lot of tags there. So you can run the test based on the tag if you wanted to. So if I'm gonna say npx playwright test uh, and then hyphen hyphen grep, 
and then I can just specify the at release version 1.2, something like that. It is going to run the test for me based on that specific tag. And once the test is completely executed, we can also generate the report. So if I just say uh, npx playwright a show report, it is gonna show the report for me over here as you can see. And you'll also notice that there are tags and there is an annotations over here. So which is all cool, but now we want to see how we can make use of the ARIA snapshots. So in order to do that, and because I told you that the ARIA snapshot needs to be created with a lot of hand coding, and the better way to use it is using the record and playback features of the Playwright. So if you just go to the uh, Playwrights uh, test over here, the test explorer, uh, and then you can choose the test that you are going to record, which is going to be uh, this one in my case, the test creating an employee. So I'm just going to go probably do a record and playback. So I'm just going to cursor there. And then I'm going to choose the uh, record at cursor. So basically it is going to record from this particular location. Uh, it's going to basically open a blank page and then it's going to start recording from there. So I'm going to do a record at cursor options of the test explorer of the playwright. So once I do that, it's going to open the browser for me. And then I'm going to go to the eaapp.sami.com website. So it is essentially going to record whatever action that I'm going to be performing as you can see over here. Uh, and then I'm going to do a snapshot of uh, probably this about that I was showing you on the slide. So if I want to regularly do that, if I just hover there, usually you see that it's going to tell me that it's going to be get by text of this particular text that you are seeing over there. Instead, you can also choose this uh, new assert snapshot. So this snapshot is nothing but the area snapshot that we're talking about. So if you go click that, and then if you choose the location or the area that you wanted to really assert to, which is going to be this one, you will notice that it is going to generate the code for me behind the scene like this, just this one. This is exactly what I was showing you on the slide. And now if I'm just going to do the rest of things as well, for instance, if I'm going to do a record of probably this section, because this looks bigger. Uh, and if I just go down below, uh, you'll notice that it is going to be this, as you can see, it has a table, it has a row group. So basically this particular uh, this particular banner that you're seeing over here, probably sitting inside a table, if I'm not wrong. And then there is a row group and within this row group, there are some rows, uh, which is going to be of this one. And there is a cell value, which has this value. And there is an image, there's a headline, and then there is this visit. And if there is any text, which is keep on going to change, probably, then you can also use a regular expression to make that happen. So those things you can do it as well. And good thing is, if you think that there are so many things going to change in the application, which you already know beforehand, then you can also remove that particular stuff from here. For instance, if you think that the visit now is going to be replaced pretty soon, you can also remove that from the snapshot from the expect over here. This is not at all going to be verified. So that is how it really works. So hopefully you got the idea how this everything is being uh, generated for us from this record and playback option. And now if I'm just going to probably stop this entire thing uh, and if I'm going to save this and uh, let me try to run the same test once again. So I'm going to run this test. You'll notice that the test is just going to run as usual over there. And it has got passed. And now if I show the report, it is going to show the report for me over here. And now you'll also notice that we have got this area snapshot options coming up, which is quite cool. And now let's say the application has got changed. For instance, the application's uh, version 1. Dot, uh, uh, version 2.0 has changed from version 2.0 to version 3, for instance. That is what the requirement has told us. So we are now probably, let's say, updating the tests over here uh, to change. Uh, and then while we try to run this test, this is going to fail because the application has not changed, but only the test has really changed. So what is going to happen right now is that this test will fail and I will tell you how amazingly it's going to uh, look uh, while the test really fails. The report actually shows you all the details that you are looking for. And because I'm also running with a, a retry, it is doing a retry for me like first time uh, and then second time. And eventually it's going to give up because I have only set the retry as two. 
and now the test has generated a report for me uh, and you will notice that it is going to tell me exactly where there is a failure so there is a change over here and that's what is failing so which is pretty cool now it also shows us like what has really gone wrong and then it takes a screenshot over here and it's also going to create a video for me uh, so so yeah this is the way that you actually can see the failure in the aria snapshots and now let's assume that uh you know what kartik your test that you have written is probably not quite right you probably need to change all the snapshot of your test matching the application because the application has been updated or maybe the requirement is quite right then if you need to change all the snapshots that you have modified the very very easiest way that you wanted to do to do it is just put like that uh, and then just say slash test uh, of test one spec and then hyphen hyphen update snapshots so if you do that it is going to update all the snapshots that we have got within our test something like this so you see that now it is going to be uh, running the same test once again but actually it's running like entire test not really just one test whatever test that we have got within this uh, test1.spec.ts file so it's running all the tests for me over here and now you can see that the test has got passed over here but you will also notice that the test has really not ch changed over here at least the snapshot has not really changed uh, from version 3 to version 2 and the reason why this has not changed is because we have only executed the test but the changes that we were about to do it has not been reflected yet so how do we actually make that change happen so you see that once the test execution is fully complete there is going to be uh, a message here it tells us that there is a new baseline created for the test one uh, dot spec dot ts file and there is this file like test results of result baseline dot pass created so if i go and click that control click that you'll notice that there is going to be a diff of git for this particular file which has been created for me and it tells me what has got changed so these two lines have been removed and these two lines have been newly added it's like like a plus sign there it's pretty much like how the git actually works behind the scene while you do a branching and changing a file and while if you remove a file uh, like a line within a file so how those things are going to be tracked that's exactly what this team has used in playwright uh, like git git's strategy uh, to to use it within the code over here and you see that everything has been changed and updated this time so only these locators has been changed in the aria snapshot that is what this uh, particular change file is all about and now if i want to apply these changes which i am seeing over here in the patch file i need to run this command git apply this particular patch file so if i do that it is going to change my code over here from version 3 back to version 2.0 I'll tell you how it's going to look like. So let me just go clear and I'm going to say git apply the test results uh, slash rebase line dot patch. So the moment I hit the enter, just notice that these two, these three of them is going to change from version three to version two back. Look at that. Now, if I go here, look at that. Now it has changed from version three to version two. And it has also added a few more details here. The reason why is because these are all are also there as a part of the uh, part of the snapshot matching. That's the reason why it has bought almost every single thing for me over here. So yeah, now it has changed. And if I now do an npx playwright uh, playwright of test hyphen hyphen grab of the release version one dot two this test is just going to run fine without any problem and it's not going to fail and the reason why is because it is successfully changing everything for me behind the scene every time while i do it so if i do an npx uh, show report you see that the test has got passed so this is how we can make use of the aria snapshot in playwright and understand how this entire yaml list of locators can be easily snapshot tested using the aria snapshot of playwright